Hi there, Team Ozone. It has been a while since I recorded last. But anyways, we are back with Pokemon Storm Silver, episode 30 and 39. 39, yes, I definitely got it right that time. Awesome. And last, wow, it's really bright outside. I've never, act, you guys can tell the difference. Like, look at this. It's so bright outside. I usually record late at night, but today it's all bright and sunny outside. And we got to go beat the crap out of Price. Which will be kind of difficult, considering that my team is kind of under, well, baby status. You need to hatch this little dude. And we need to hatch it. And if it has a bad nature, then obviously I can't use it. But if it's kind of good nature, if, you know, things went good in the egg-making process, in the bow chicken, wow, well, I'm not getting into that. Well, my team looks pretty weak, because I just beat Black 2 uh, over the weekend, or uh, over the week. And if you follow my Twitter or my Facebook, you should have probably seen that and you would know that but if you don't then you probably wouldn't know that but anyways uh we're gonna go back and forth while i explain a lot of stuff because uh it probably needs explaining if you go to my channel right now you will see i just took up the partner bar and uh beat the shit out of it i made it better it's, it's awesome now so uh, that that's awesome it's uh very awesome indeed Another thing, I got a Facebook fan page, so if you're not getting my videos in your subscription box, which if you're getting this video, you probably are, and so this doesn't matter to you, but if you're not, at any time you appear that you're not getting all the videos, just go like the Facebook page, and you'll get informed of whenever there's a uh, new video. And a uh, question of the day, should I, like make my Facebook page personal, like you get all of my posts, like anything I would post on Twitter would appear on my Facebook, or would you like it so I just post videos whenever there's a new video on my Facebook page? Like, do you guys like the personalized stuff where I just rant or I don't really rant. Just those random posts I have on Facebook like saying, Good morning, world. I hope you have an awesome day today because you are awesome. And god damn it, that egg better have gotten close to hatching though. Like, seriously, we've been walking all week with this thing. Ah, it just got close to it. We gotta keep it up. And I'm not doing this off screen because I hate doing anything off screen because I just... I don't trust a lot of people or anything, really, but that's the thing. I don't trust a lot of things, so anything that's um, so-called off-screen, I'm really skeptical of it, so yeah. Even myself, when I pitch black train, I used to, actually. I haven't done any pitch black training in a while, and I'm hoping I don't have to do any training for a while, but it's a Nuzlocke, so I'm pretty sure I will have to do that, so I'm not sure. We're going to see how that goes. I, I usually try and get in one or two levels every off-screen training session, which really, I don't like it because it takes up so much time that doesn't go towards videoing, videoing, <laughs> towards the video itself, and holy crap, you know what, I'm just gonna check where Entei or Raikou is, if either of them is in the air, no, they're not, if they, if they were close enough, then I wouldn't really have to worry too much about price, it's not that I'm under level, it's just the price is a douchebag, and okay, I'm under level, I will publicly admit that, I honestly just don't know where the lucky egg is, which is an item that would really help when Trying to level up and stuff like that. So here's the question of the day. Should I personalize the Facebook page? And are you even going to even use it? Because I'm, I'm homo. homo ah, yeah, I'm homo. Yes, I apparently called myself homo. Which homo means same. So it does not mean gay or homosexual. I did not say homosexual. I said homo, which means same. Hetero means different. Or as most people prefer to um, assume, it means straight. But really, in scientific terms... Homo, same, hetero, different. So, hey, dude, could you pass me the, um, the homo, the, whatever, the same thing I have in my hand right here? I guess you could technically use it like that, but since it's scientific, scientific terms, I'm not entirely sure if you could use it like that. But basically, homo means the same, hetero means different. Yeah, it doesn't really... Unless you add the little thing at the end, it doesn't really mean anything. It's entirely meaningless. It just means same or different. Anyways, back on topic. Um, do you guys want me to keep... Like, on my Twitter, I'm very out, open about anything I do. I'm, like, sitting at home, just bored. I will tweet that. Do you guys want to see that on the Facebook thing, or should the Facebook thing be kept professional? And by the way, just to clarify... I don't like Facebook. I don't have a personal Facebook. I do not try Facebook. I don't like it because the uh, thing about Facebook that you guys might not have noticed or known, and it's not even like, you know, Facebook is evil, blah. It just doesn't let you delete your account. And Twitter, at some point, I think it did let you delete your account, but now you can't, which kind of sucks, but I don't mind it that much. Oh, God, Wild Pokemon, what is this? 
It's actually a Fero, which we're gonna capture and call Jeff. Which, by the way, Jiwolf is what I thought it was called, but it's actually Jeff. So whatever. Let's hope that we have a ball of goodness. We do not have any... Oh, no, we have no good balls for capturing Pokemans. Thankfully, why is this... Oh, my gosh. This is the most professional recording ever. Um, oh, right. I was supposed to be doing something today. Sorry, that was just my phone right there going off. Uh, reminding me to do something, which is this. Record. I actually set a reminder because I forgot to record the previous... Past few days, we're probably wondering, Thursday, you didn't upload, Mr. Requesa Requesington. Well, the reason for that is, uh, scratch his head. I, I have no idea. I have no excuse. I've been really busy, and by busy, I mean not busy doing my things. Busy doing things for other people. Example, my dad got a new phone. I had to set that up, and it took a while, because he uses an Android phone, and I had to convert all his stuff and bring it on over to the Apple phone, which he got. He did not get an iPhone 5 because iPhone 5 sucks. Uh, if you don't have one, then you can't really say it sucks because you probably don't know. Or maybe if you're tech savvy, then you do know that the iPhone 5 sucks. But if you do have an iPhone 5, uh, my apologies. I, you have my sympathy and all the, all the stuff towards you. Uh, that would mean I feel bad for you and stuff like that. I'm not saying it sucks entirely. I'm just saying it doesn't work as good as the iPhone 4s, which is the supposedly inferior model, so, uh, that, that's kind of, like, they, let's say this, here's my finger, right, if I said, I, uh, this is the finger 2.0, it is so much better than the finger point one. yes, well, you would assume that to be true, right, because it's the second version of it, it's the obviously superior version, where in reality, the iPhone 5, it, it does have better hardware on the inside, they kind of, it's not doing so good. I'll, I'll say that. It's not... I mean, it probably sold amazingly, but it's... It's not the best thing ever in terms of software. Yeah. That's about it. And personally, if I could, I would have an Android phone. Like, an Android HTC Evo phone. Like, an, those... Not even, like, the new ones. Like, the one of the older ones that had, like, the best cameras ever. I would get one of those. But, uh, no, I didn't have that choice. Instead, I had to get the iPhone, which... You know, it's not even that bad, and I shouldn't even complain that I had to get the iPhone, because, like, the iPhone's pretty good. It's like a first-world problem thing. You compl you're you complaining that you got a smart... Pl I'm not even complaining. It's like, I'm grateful for what I have. That's the thing. There. I am grateful that I have a phone, because for 19 years, 18 years of my entire life, I had never had a phone. I turned 19. I still didn't get a phone. Uh, I'm turning 20 this year. Then... Right before I official, actually, a little after I turned 19, I got an iPhone. So, yeah. Wait a minute, wasn't I 19 last year? No, no, I turned 19 this year. Let me think. Yeah, I think I'm 19. I think I'm 19. I should probably get this checked out. I, I, knowing your age is probably one of the more important things in life. I, I know my address, my number, my dad's number. Heck, I even know my first fan ever. I think I do. I hope I do. That's one of those things. That's a douchey thing to forget. So I always try to remember my fans. Like, usually the guys who comment are the ones I remember. So if you're watching this video and you don't comment a lot, that I mean, no offense to you. It's just I probably don't know you on a fan level. Like. Maybe you're my friend in, like, Twitterverse. Then I probably know you. It's just, usually you remember people you interact with. So, if I don't interact with you, I probably don't remember or know you. So, that's that's a thing. If you want to get to know me or just comment, you comment down below. Me would like that. Alright, is the egg anywhere near to uh, hatching? And uh, that Thero was pretty cool. Yes, it's actually going to be hatching really soon. That's that's rather amazing that in 10 minutes of ranting, the egg is close to hatching. Why am I going in there? What? Get, get out of here, buddy. And there's this movie I want to see after this, which I will probably see. Uh, it depends if my, it's on, like, my sister's DVD player or not. But what? Ah, I'm back on subject of Pokemans and uh, the question of the day. Egg is hatching. Oh, my gosh. Yes, that is awesome. I forgot the question of the day, didn't I? Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna tap the B button in hopes that I don't know what will happen. Adamant, 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 adamant. I'm naming it Riley because somebody in the comments told me to, and I'm totally sorry if I forgot your name, 
but I remember your wish at least. Like, previously I would remember the person's name, whoever would say, oh, please do this. I would remember their name. I would remember their specific username, but I would forget entirely as to what they want me to do. Please have a good nature, Riley. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jeez, what does that do? What does that? I can't see. Defense goes down for special defense. I'm not really sure if that's bad or good. Defense, special defense. It doesn't hinder his physical, so I'm going to actually use him like, like, like you guys wanted me to do. So that, that's a thing. I'm using it, but I gotta make it happy, so I'm gonna give it the soothe. No, I'm not. No, no, no. I'm gonna give it the experience share because it's kind of gonna have to. I don't have the experience share, do I? Do I not? No, I do not have it. It's in. Uh, it's probably on somebody right now. Ah, uh, let me say. All right, it's actually on Daiga, which is all right. I will actually take the item and place it on Riley, the brand new addition to our team. Uh, freaking if I could find that darn thing. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, awesome. So, there's that. And, uh, I'm not sure if I should go challenge price or not. Because the price, it's not right. It's too high. I, I, I don't think I'm strong enough at the moment. So, you know what? I'm actually going to check my poker gear right now and see where Entei and Rai... God damn it! Damn you, electrical beast of electricity, and damn you, volcanic beast of volcanicness. Ah, oh, the damnation of it all. Uh, so yeah. Question of the day is, should I keep my... Which one? Like, which one should be professional? Because really, I like keeping my uh, Twitter not professional. I prefer just being personal. Like, I always... I'm always personal in these videos. Like, if you guys leave a comment, I'm probably going to respond to it. Unless it's something I can't respond to. And that's a new one. I've, I haven't actually done that in a while. Ever. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Okay, you know what, we're gonna go face off against Price because I feel that, I don't know, I have no idea. And I'm probably gonna have, like, worse luck against Price since Riley, uh, the guy who was here for the past three episodes, is not here. Uh, he'll probably come back, yeah, I don't even know, maybe eventually, maybe never, who knows. Uh, a lot of you guys did complain that he has a bad microphone, and, uh... I gotta agree, Riley's mic kind of sucks, but the thing with that is, he uses his mic for just, you know, chilling around and goofing off. He's not like a Let's Player. He's, I tried to get him into Let's Playing, he just wouldn't get into it, but yeah, whatever. So, we're gonna go battle Price, because uh, the price is right. <laughs> no, I'm uh, gonna go battle Price, and hopefully I can get some belly drums off, and you know what, I'm gonna give him the Shell Bell, because... Because I figure the shell bell will restore whatever amount of damage I do. So, if I can KO one Pokemans, I should get a little bit of HP after going for my Bella Dance. Bella Dance, Bella Dance, Bella Dance, Bella Dance, Bella Dance. I like Bella Dancing. Not really, I've never actually Belly Danced or seen a Belly Dance. Anyways, yeah, I'm hoping this battle goes right. It's, it's Obama, Obama, Abominable Snowman, Obama Snow. The abominable snowman is here to battle me. We're gonna go for flame throw belly dance. Belly 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 dance. Belly dance belly dance belly dance. Go for my belly dance. Alright, since belly dance just got off, I'm gonna go for fire fang after this and hopefully I've survived this turn of Oh God! No! No, 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 Yeah, that had to hurt like a Ah, so bad. So, so bad. That was, that was terrible. The, the whole point of belly dancing is to not lose. Instead, I go out and lose. So, we're gonna go over to Choice Man Jaws. Gonna go for the Brick Break. It'll obviously finish him off. At least, I think it'll obviously finish him off. I'm not really sure why I'm here. I guess, basically, I'm trying to fodder up for some experience. Uh, basically, it's like this. I kill one of his Pokemon, and Riolu gets a crap ton of experience. So, that, that's kind of the whole thing with this. Probably not gonna KO me, because it's a physical attack, and I'm kind of the physical know-it-all guy. Eh, not me, but Jaws. Jaws is kind of like a Machamp, but with water typing, and a lot less attack, and a, a few- a lower stat base. Lower stats in general, at least, uh, except for on defense. On defense, he's rather alright. Jaws is kind of like my tank. Gardevoir, no. It's kind of my special tank, sort of. Not really. Last time I checked, uh, she didn't take so many- Special attacks do well. Now is the time where Riley levels up like crazy. 
Ah, uh, let's just hope he evolves after this. Oh god, he's oh god. Oh, if I lose, he's gonna faint. There's there's no changing that. He's gonna faint, and if he faints, uh, he evolves via friendship. So you have to get his friendship really high, which you can usually do just by leveling up like this. You know, in a little frenzy. So if I lose this battle, Mari Riolu is not going to evolve. I ch which I just realized is very, very bad. Very bad indeed, good sir. So, you know what? We're actually gonna uh, not lose this battle? Is that... Can I do that? I'm not entirely sure if I can do that. We're gonna try and not lose this battle. And, uh... Yeah. As long as he doesn't have an electric or grass type Pokemon... Aha, Frostlass. I know just how to deal with that thing. First step, paralyze the he No, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna go for Toxic, because Toxic seems like a very good idea. And also, uh, if you guys missed Riley, that really sucks. I mean, I might have him back for something else, but uh, the thing is, we're like best buds, but we're both like busy. He's got college, and I've got you guys. I've got you guys, which is really, basically, Riley's busy, and if he were to come back, I'm pretty sure he would bring a better... Mike, no, 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 no way is that KOing me. I am a special Pokemon of specialness, and god damn it, I'm so happy that worked out properly, and happily, and good stuff like that. Whew, I was so scared. Talk about the loud woo in your ears right there. Um, as sometimes I forget that this microphone isn't, like, bad. It picks up everything I do, like, watch, I'm gonna snap my fingers. Snap, 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 snap. It picked it up, and that's amazing. All right, so we got that thunder off. I'm gonna go for a thunder shock walk, a thunder thunderbolt. It goes for ice shard. Probably gonna okay on me because its attack is actually high enough to uh, finish me off. So that sucks. Yeah, that that happened. But the thing with me toxicing toxicing the opponent right there is, uh, guys, it's gonna go for double team, and I hate double team. I don't hate it, hate it like when I'm using it, but I hate it when my opponent's using it. And a really cool thing here is, no, wait, uh, Memos one's faster than Nell, Daiga has no chance in hell, and Jaws, maybe, maybe. Burst Flare would be very helpful, in fact, I'm gonna just switch on over to Nell, go for the Shadow Wall, and in the meantime, check if I have any Max Revives or a Revive. I probably do have some Revives, I believe I have some Revives, oh yes, yeah, I have some Revives. Alright, so now would be the time I revive Burst Flare, go for the Flame Flare the next turn. If I survive the Shadow Ball, that is, it's probably gonna KO me, since I have not gone for Calm Mind, and that's really bad, considering that my special is my, apparently, best stats. So, Nell, uh, you need to up your stats, madam. Ah, crap, I'm not faster than it, am I? That's bad, that's really bad. Um, let's also reva no, let's actually go for a Hyper Potion on, I should have gone for it on Jaws, because Jaws could probably come in here and probably finish it off. I'm not sure why it's going for Ice Shard, I guess it is, you know, faster than me, so it does get that finishing KO, and it, it, it gets Stab on it, so that's another, another pain in the ass, but not entirely sure what's up with that. I just moved my leg, sorry about that. If, you, if that disrupted the microphone, I really do apologize for that. Alrighty, so the poison should be seeping in, slowly doing what it does best, and I'm really hoping my opponent goes for something like Ice Shard, or something stupid, or something like, uh, I don't know, freaking- OH fr mm -hmm. Why would you- Very cheap attack, good sir. I hope you die in a fire. A fire with many, 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 many- painful things inside of it that will make it all the more fiery because oh that was so douchey I could I could smell the douchiness in that attack I'm gonna go for a hyper potion because I pretty much can survive the thunderbolt and I'm pretty darn sure pretty darn sure that I like very sure very sure of myself in this situation that he went for the hyper potion. Well, that's that's all right because I'm gonna go for another belly dance. Maybe he'll go for a full heal or a full restore, something like that. That would be nice. Uh, if I have an X special, I'm gonna go for that too because I don't want to really put up with all this X special. Yeah, that's my special attack. And you know what? We're going for X special. I'm gonna hit this thing with a fall. A flamethrower like none other. A flamethrower that will burn through Kirim's ice. Which, by the way, 
is apparently very hard to melt through. Uh, I'm not sure if I can confirm this myself. Also, Blizzard has 100% accuracy during the hailstorm. I just remember that. That is bad. Also, I believe that Pokemon is faster than me. Uh, I could be wrong about that. Pretty darn sure it's faster than me, and uh, the poison should be killing it this turn, so I get a full feel. I get a free heal off this turn. Yay! And I'm used to seeing full restores because, um, again, I've been playing Black too. That's the whole reason there was no episode. Because in my spare time, instead of recording, I only had enough time to play Black 2, so that's pretty bad. I, it's kind of bad, it's kind of good, because when you think about it, I put a video game before another video game, which kind of... How many times have you guys done that? You guys have probably done that a lot of times. Though, to be fair, Black 2 is really awesome. Oh my god, I love playing it so much. It's like, ah... I wish, I wish, I wish that Black 2, I mean, I now that I beat the game, I understand why they had to split it up into two sections, but, ah, oh, it's so good. And hey, Riley's leveling up again. Black 2 is just amazing. If you have played Black 1 or Black, or White 1, uh, just play whichever one came after yours, and Memory Link. Link your memories, because that is what makes it so, so nice, because the continuity and all that good stuff. And Dugong is next. It is a water ice type Pokemon. Not good for me because um, I don't have an electric type on me. At least not at the moment. I'm not going to switch out though. Instead, I'm going to revive um, Dre. Because, yeah. I really should do some off-screen training. Otherwise, I'm going to have a lot of trouble like this beating the game. Which I can, I can expect. I kind of figured this would happen because you're going to be switching out members here and there. But I don't like off-screen training. I didn't take into account that my hatred for off-screen training would actually make it. So I don't train at all, which is... I don't train. I really don't. I just go with the game. And that's that. I hope they give me the lucky egg soon. Otherwise, this level gap is going to be the end of me in this game. Also, if that thing has Ice Shard, and this is going to be the end of me in this game. Because Thunderbolt to the face, paralyzed, get paralyzed, stay paralyzed, 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 Did it work? Is he paralyzed? Oh, shoot. That's not paralysis, is it? Okay. Kind of wishing I had Water Absorb instead of Volt Absorb, but hey, whatever. You get what you get. So there's that hail continuing to fall. I think he's got the, what is that ability? No, he doesn't, he does not have that ability. He, uh, ice body is the ability that I'm thinking of. Ice body actually makes it so you heal during the hail. Heal during the hail, that's kind of funny. Uh, let's see, who do I switch out to? Uh, I guess Jaws, just so I can revive Jolteon. Go for the Thunderbolt once more. Come on, Charizard, go for Thunderbolt. Why does that sound so familiar? I'm not entirely sure why that sounds familiar, but yeah, that that's apparently a thing. Anyways, come back from the dead, Dre the Jolteon. <laughs> I can do that. That doesn't hurt anymore. I'm not sure why. Maybe that's because I haven't uh, let's played in a while, and that thing just went for uh, sleep. I mean rest, because now it's healed. That's yeah. Wait a minute, it has a Chesto Berry, or does it have Hydration? Because Hydration does not work, so I'm pretty sure it's got a Chesto Berry. That's very, uh, that's alright. I, I don't really, that's not that big of a deal. Chesto Berry, I can understand, but if that thing had Hydration and it was raining right now, that would be the worst, because that means it can just spam rest, and it's got an automatic recovery, because on a rain team, Dugong heals all the time. It goes for Surf, I'm not sure what, uh, why, that's, uh, no, that. No, that's not enough damage to... Yeah, that's a lot of damage now, but that's not going to KO me, so I'm just going to heal up for Alligator all the way, and then we're going to go for a Brick Break, and hopefully break his face! Yay! I made a rhyme! I think I made a rhyme. I'm not entirely sure if I made a rhyme. What just happened? I just got some really cold feet. Like, my feet were all nice, and now they're freezing cold. Oh, by the way, I'm hungry and starving. I hope you guys know that. Uh, I'm not sure why, but apparently I was like... Supposed to record at 10. It's 1 p.m. in the evening, by the way. Uh, I've been watching random videos on YouTube, doing absolutely nothing. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, if you're focusing on- Damn it! I was supposed to go for a brick break! Although, this is also moderately effective, especially since I'm choice banded. It's just that this has 60 power and uh, brick break has 75 power. The 15% difference in power would make a big difference in KOing, at least... 
Yeah, yeah, it would make a big difference, especially since that dugong actually- Actually, it wouldn't make that big of a difference, it would still be a two-hit KO. But now I'm locked into a grass-type attack inside of, uh, inside of a ice-type Pokemon gym. So there's a problem, which is, I'm not going to be super effective next turn, no! And Riley gets some level-ups. Uh, Riley wants to learn faint, or faint, or faint. I'm not sure if it's, it's faint, right? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I'm sorry about that if I suck at pronouncing stuff. No move will actually be forgotten to learn that move because it's not really worth it. Uh, it only does 50 power. If it did like 100 power, actually no, that'd be overpowered. That'd be a little overpowered. I agree with that. But if it was, eh, okay. On an EV, that's an okay attack. Uh, okay, Lapras, Water Grass again. I could switch on over to Dre and risk it, but no. No, I think I'm going to stick with Jaws, because now that I think about it, Jaws could probably take an Earthquake and still Brick Break the hell out of Mamoswine. So we're going to go for it, we're going to go for it, and we're going to... Right. Still Choice Bandit. I really need the increase in power, because I don't get Stab on either of these. And the little boost in power would probably change the cut to, like... Uh, oh, yeah, see, the little power boost right there, it probably would have changed... I should have switched out to uh, Jolteon. Almost said Volteon, which... You know, now that I think about it, why isn't it Volteon? Volt, Jolt, Volt. I think of Volts more than I think of Jolts. At least I think, I think, I think. I think, I think of that. I think, I think of that. That's what I meant. We're gonna go over to Dre because absolutely nobody else on my team is fast enough to keep up with Lapras, which is actually not true. Lapras is at the... Lapras is a very slow Pokemon, but on the downside... Like, the upside is it's very slow, but the downside is it's very bulky, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to KO it with just one. Yo! Ah, yeah! Bad noises, because that's a lot of bad news. Oh, it's not going to... Don't... Don't... Do, no! No! Probably going to survive this. Actually, probably going to survive this. Uh, Lapras does have a special attack, but it's not that big. So, yeah, I probably took that a lot better than I did when it was hit, uh, sent out. I took that rather well, and I'm happy about it, so that's a thing. Thunderbolt, finish them off. Ha 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 ha. Halloween is over, so I'm not sure what I'm happy about. Uh, it's actually November, but the thing with that is I don't really do much for Thanksgiving. I know that's probably bad. I'm really sorry if you if you love Thanksgiving and you celebrate it like crazy. I apologize. I don't do much for it. Christmas though, that's my thing. Uh, it's not like my thing. It's just I really love the warm, cheery, happy feeling that Christmas just radiates. It's like happy. And I, I like that, because I apparently like making people smile. We're not going to switch out here. Instead, we're going to go for Toxic and hopefully stall this thing a little bit, because it's probably not faster than me. Um, if it is... Holy sh... Oh! I forgot I had that attack. Oh, jeez. That probably wouldn't have finished me off at full HP. Oh, man, that is bad. Now we are going to go with a little bit of compromising, which is... I could win this battle, but then Riley faints. I'm gonna hopefully go to Daiga and Riley doesn't faint. And by go to Daiga, I mean Daiga's not doing anything this turn. Daiga is reviving Jaws this turn because Jaws is kind of my best bet at this. I mean, I could go for a flamethrower from Burst Flare, and he's not affected by Earthquake. Wait a minute, that actually seems like a very good idea. But then the icy attacks, like Ice Shard, kind of hit me, and that that's really bad. <gasps> no, 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 there's no chance, absolutely no chance of me surviving that attack right there, being a critical hit, and uh, that's that's really bad. Did I mention how bad that is? All right, seriously, if I don't beat him, like, next episode, bad, the amount of bad, oh my god, I have Intimidate. It just occurred to me that I have Intimidate. Yeah, it's got the white herb. Uh, we're gonna revive somebody so I can just go on over and revive Jaws once again because I don't like how he's doing this thing where he, where he does this evil, evil thing where he restores his stats back to normal after all the effort I put in to de decrease his stats. What sort of imbecile will increase their stats after I decrease them? I mean, what common s Okay, yeah, j uh, sarcasm aside, there is... Yeah, any normal person would probably try and fix something after somebody broke something. So seeing as how I just kind of broke his thing, he fixed it with his white herb. Uh, let's see here. Is there any chance that I'm faster than him? No. No, no not even, no. Not, not even a remote chance that I'm faster than him. 
So we're gonna just revive somebody else. Like, uh, this is my last revive. So we're gonna revive Jaws. And so we can switch in with that Intimidate again. And wow, I should have just done that from the beginning. It's like the more you battle some... Uh, how did... I knew that was gonna hit it at like 100% accuracy. I, I don't know why, but I just did. It's like the more you battle gym leaders, you mo... It's not even like that. It is exactly like that. The more you battle, the more you... The more you do something, the more experienced you are at it. And... The more times I battle Price, the more easy, or the easier it becomes to kick his ass. So that's the thing. That's a thing, not the thing. Earthquake. I'm not sure if I'll take it, uh, but I'm gonna try and take it. So let's hopefully hope that th that this hope and hope and hope <gasps> survive. That's kind of the big thing here. Survive this deck. Come on. Yes. Oh, it is on, Mother Fluffer. It is on. This is my second wind. By that, I mean this game is on. It is on, 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 on. It is all sorts of on. Like, this is the part in the anime where the guy who's getting his ass kicked, he gets up and he's like, oh, round two, Super Saiyan, everything. I'm going to go for a full potion, hyper potion of awesome, awesome tea. And it is on. It is, it is seriously on. It is so on. I don't even know what his last Pokemon is, to be honest. I... I don't remember what his last Pokemon is, but as long as it doesn't learn anything electric, I should be good for this. <laughs> Ice Shard, yeah, nice try, buddy. Nice try. <laughs> like, that's gonna do anything. That That's abs nothing. Absolutely. Uh, wow. Wow. I was being really sarcastic there, thinking that he was gonna get, like, a critical hit times 8 or something. And there's no, no such thing as a critical hit times 8, but I was thinking, you know, I'm gonna get screwed over by this thing somehow. But no, it is on. You are down. You are done. You, get out of my house, bro. Out of my house. You are done. Out of here. Walk out that door. Shut it. Don't let it hit you on the back. You're on your way out. Whatever. You're, you're out of here. Wait, wait, what? What? Brick break missed? Why did this happen? It, no, 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 no. I'm not sure if I'll survive it now. I'm going to go for the healings. And no. Ah, I'm not sure. I'm not faster than him. I know that much. I'm gonna go for the hyper potion again, see what, what happens. Because I know for a fact, between hail and ice shard damage, uh, he can get me down here pretty fast, but I don't want to get an earthquake in the face again. Earthquake, okay, so let's see how this goes. Earthquake does, 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 does. How much damage does earthquake do? It does a bit, actually that's not even that much. Uh, I should be able to survive that with just barely the skin of my teeth. Yeah, there's no way I'm not surviving that. So here we go. Brick break in his face. Come on, Jaws. You're my starter. You're my badass. You're you're like the best Pokemon I have. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Finish him! Please? Please, 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 with the cherry on top. Yes! We finished him. We finished him. We finished him. He's been most fun. I don't know his last Pokemon. It's a jinx. Oh, God. It's a jinx. I literally choked on my spit right there. I was like, oh god, it's a jinx. It's a jinx. Oh, that is so bad. That is bad. That is like really, really bad. We're not we're, we're not going to learn reversal because it kind of... Eh, it's it's alright. It does more damage the lower your HP is and it's a fighting type attack. I don't know. You need like 1 HP to fully max... Oh, it's a Glalie. Huh. That's actually not that bad. I thought he had a jinx. I could have sworn he had a Jinx. He had six Pokemon and none of them are Jinx? What is wrong with the guy? I mean, seriously. Six Pokemon. And absolutely no Jinx. Okay. There is something wrong with Bryce. Aha. Uh -huh. I know I should be grateful that I just, um, you know, beat the crap out of Bryce. Very difficult gym leader, by the, the way, but... I'm totally, that doesn't even bother me. I'm, I'm frozen in a block of ice. And no, no, that, 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 no. That is not what is on my mind. It's, it, you don't have a Jinx? Why does, I guess Frostlass kind of has some coverage, but Jinx also has more coverage. Uh, Price, that's, that's pretty stupid not to have a Jinx, especially when Jinx gets better coverage than, Actually, no. Frothlass gets better cut. Okay, never mind. I take all that back. Forget it. We're just gonna break break this guy's face. And considering that 90% of his body is a face, we're gonna break him in two like a stick. And speaking of sticks, I can name about eight that I would be eating right now that are all foods. And none of them are perverted things that you little perverts are thinking about right now. I meant mozzarella sticks, pretzel sticks, uh, pizza sticks, 
nacho sticks, which aren't really a food. It's just me eating a bunch of nachos held together by a shish kebab. Uh, you guys know what shish kebabs are, right? Um, it's like you just, it's a, how do I explain? It's like a metal rod and you stab it through a bunch of foods and then you just eat it off the rod, but don't stab yourself in the mouth. Wow, if Riley doesn't evolve after that, I have no idea what he's going to evolve after. But he just got like 20 levels, and I literally just won this battle for one reason and one reason alone. So my little, cute, little, adorable puppy Riolu does not faint. I literally beat the crap out of the gym leader I've been having like trouble against for like the most time ever. So... Uh, he better, he better evolve. Also, TM07, I definitely know what that is. That's an ice beam. That is definitely ice beam. Hail! God damn it! <laughs> okay, TM, really, it's hail in 5th gen. I thought that was ice beam. I just got ice beam the other day from the giant chasm, which, if you're playing white 2, that's where you get ice beam. Ray registered price in the Poke gear. I almost said Pokedex. I've been playing way too much Black 2. I love the game. It's I've beaten the game, and there's still so much fun to do. I can't wait to Let's Play it. I'm definitely Let's Playing it, but I'm Let's Playing it after everybody's done it, so nobody can like be like, Oh, hey, um, I knew all these secrets beforehand. No, I'm going to do it when everybody's done. Then I'll have a bunch of stuff that nobody has shown, and then I'll be like, Oh, what now, son? Or not even that. I'll just be a little loser and do my thing. Hey, it's Professor Elm. I guess uh, it's a mandatory pickup. Ray, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening at the radio broadcast. They were talking about Team Rocket. Ray, do you know anything about it? Ah, Magby. Oh, sorry. Maybe. See, my eyesight's going on me, children. I'm going blind. Help me. No, I'm actually doing fine. I just misread that. Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Bye. Okay, so he called me because he thought Team Rocket didn't return, but then it actually didn't re did return i'm really upset though uh, riolu why have you not evolved why 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 mr riolu why have you not evolved anyways that about wraps it up for today mr awesomes that's all you guys down there and mrs awesomes if i have any female viewers i don't really think i have any female viewers yeah pretty sure i do not have any of those anyways that about wraps it up for today remember to answer the question of the day which is anyways that about wraps it up for today remember to leave a like comment and subscribe if you already haven't bye Thank you.